Hello, I'm Jeremy Brown. I'm the British Foreign Office Minister responsible for British government policy in Pacific Asia, including in Japan. And as you can see, I'm in Ishinomaki, which is a medium-sized city on the northeast coast of Japan that was absolutely devastated by the tsunami on the 11th of March and anybody watching this in Britain or anywhere in the world for that matter will have seen the pictures from this very city uh, of the wave coming in and as you can see behind me pretty much wiping out every single building in this area. Thousands of people were killed and many many others uh, unaccounted for and one assumes that they were washed out to sea which is uh, directly behind me. We've already had uh, an extraordinary uh, uh, experience as well, another earthquake tremor while I've been in the city this morning. I was looking around a soup kitchen uh, which um, has been organised by a fantastic group of volunteers, young Japanese people who've come from all over Japan to try and help with the clear up here and uh, I was looking around the soup kitchen for the homeless people, the people who've been left completely uh, destitute by the earthquake and tsunami and I was being shown around by the mayor of the city uh, and there was a big shake and we were evacuated to higher ground in case there was a further tsunami so people are still living with uh, the fear of what is happening and as you can as you can see I mean, it's hard to quite put it into words unless you've seen it with your own eyes but it's um it, everything has been laid to to waste here it's been cleared up a little bit I think what is most poignant is actually the day-to-day -day items that you see scattered among the heavier debris and the mud so you see people's shoes and their uh, and you know, um, vacuum cleaners radios what you can hear above me is a, you can probably hear it, is a helicopter which is uh, part of the uh, warnings that they're doing because of fears in the aftermath of the earthquake that we had here, the tremor, uh, about an hour ago. But anyway, you can see this is four months on, four months tomorrow since the tsunami hit. And uh, we, the British government, I've had the opportunity to say to the mayor of the city, but we, the British government, have said to the highest levels, and I'll be saying it to uh, senior ministers in Tokyo tomorrow, that uh, we have great confidence in the Japanese authorities to, uh, to sort out the situation, get to grips with it. But any way that we can help, uh, we will happily do that. We greatly admire the, the fortitude, the resilience of the Japanese people. And I think anybody looking at this scene behind me or who actually stood here for themselves uh, would feel quite rightly that anything we can do to try and help the people of this part of Japan to rebuild their lives, well, that's something we're, we're very proud to be able to do because uh, they have suffered the most terrible trauma uh, with the earthquake and tsunami just four months ago.